Many scary car accidents happen on roads every day. But since airbags were invented and put in cars, the number of casualties and crashes has gone down by 24%. When there's a big crash, an airbag shoots out from the dashboard, side, or steering wheel to stop us from getting hurt. It happens really fast, just 40 milliseconds. This clever idea was invented by John W. Hetrick in 1952, but let's see how airbags are made today. While airbags are lifesavers, they weren't installed in cars on a mass level until after the 1990s. The reason? They have to go through a long process of making, testing, and installation. In layman terms, an airbag's like a deflated balloon which is quickly filled with gas when sensors detect a car crash is about to happen. But it's not that simple. They have to be made with a pliable yet strong fabric. Normal fabric doesn't work here, so it's all about stitching and coating with a special ingredient, silicone. So airbag fabric is made out of special material with special yarns made with nylon. Nylon yarns start with mixing special ingredients together to make a thick liquid called polymer. This liquid's pushed through tiny holes to form long strands like spaghetti. These strands are stretched to make them stronger. After that, they're twisted together and wound onto spools. This process makes tough strands of nylon called yarns. Once the yarns are made, it's time to make the fabric. Remember the yarns made with polymer earlier? They're now set up on computerized loom machines. As the loom moves up and down, spaces open up between the threads, allowing even more nylon to join. Layer by layer, the fabric becomes a tightly woven web. It's a strong net, catching any air that tries to escape. Even though these looms work at lightning speed, the thickness of the airbag fabric creates a surprising limitation. Believe it or not, they can only produce about 8 meters of material per hour. But hey, that just goes to show the care that goes into making it. The entire weaving process is designed to create a single, seamless piece of fabric. This material needs to be incredibly strong. It's responsible for protecting you in a crash. The fabric's ready for stitching. Before that happens, we want to be absolutely sure it's up to standard. That's where a serious inspection process starts. There are automated rollers gently winding the fabric, like rolling out a long carpet. These rollers have eagle eyes, scanning every inch for any hint of flaw. There's also a sensitive sensor on standby, ready to beep on even the teeniest imperfection. If the sensor catches the slightest imperfection, the production is stopped. This allows them to catch and fix any issues before they go further. This strict quality control isn't just a formality. It's important to trust airbags in emergencies. A flawless fabric is ready after passing inspection. Now it heads to the scouring station for a good cleaning before it's processed further. A machine gently unwinds the fabric and guides it through a bunch of wash tanks, making sure every little bit gets squeaky clean. Thorough cleaning is essential for adding coatings and seals to the fabric in the next steps. Once the fabric is nice and clean, it's time to give it an extra layer of protection with silicone. This silicone coating is a shield, making the fabric stronger and more resilient. The liquid silicone is applied onto the fabric using a hose. The overhead scraper then spreads it evenly across the surface. This silicone seals the fabric, locking in its strength and durability. But there's a problem. After this step, the fabric comes out feeling wet and sticky. To make sure the silicone sets properly, it has to be completely dry. It's similar to letting paint dry before you touch it. Now it needs to dry completely and set for maximum strength. That's where these special ovens come in. These ovens maintain a steady temperature of around 190 degrees Celsius. This creates the ideal environment for something called curing the silicone. The heat not only dries out any leftover moisture from the silicone coating, but it also helps it bond with the nylon fibers underneath. This strong bond between the silicone and nylon creates a tight seal around the airbag. This is crucial because when the airbag inflates during a crash, it experiences a powerful force. You wouldn't want your balloon to burst at the worst possible moment, right? The cured silicone coating acts like a layer of super armor ensuring the airbag deploys without breaking and protects you in a crash. The fabric's all cured up and ready for the next step, transforming into individual airbag shapes. Computer-guided lasers are used for this task, super fast and super accurate. The fabric has these black lines woven in, 
and they help the laser know exactly where to cut for each airbag. The laser even slices up multiple airbags at once. While fabric weaving from earlier was a slower process, the cutting department's way faster. We get maximum efficiency in less time. Once the pieces of the airbags are cut, they move to the sewing station on conveyor belts. Here, extra bits like tabs and straps are added to make the airbags even stronger. Even though the fabric looks perfectly woven, the extra parts are essential. No compromise can be made on safety. Up until now, most of the process has been controlled by computers. But guess what? Even the stitching gets the high-tech treatment. Special computer-controlled machines handle the sewing, ensuring perfectly crafted seams every single time. This minimizes human error and guarantees a perfect fit for all the airbag parts. Before these airbags become the champions of car safety, they need to pass a series of high-pressure tests. There's no room for error here. These tests are super precise, ensuring the airbag will deploy quickly and reliably in a real-life crash. They basically put the airbag through a crash simulation, checking every step, from the moment the sensor detects a crash to the airbag inflating in a split second. If anything goes wrong during this process, it could put people in danger. That's why these tests are so crucial. They might seem intense, but they're important for guaranteeing the airbag performs when it matters most. The airbag has aced its strength tests, inflation tests, and even its stitching exam. But there's one more hurdle to clear, the final inspection. During these dimensional checks, the airbags get measured with laser precision. Every inch needs to be exactly the right size and shape, following the blueprint to the T. Why? Because even the slightest difference could affect how well it protects you in a crash. Remember, airbags need to inflate in a split second, even faster than a car slamming on the brakes at 200 miles per hour. So, if the airbag isn't the perfect size and shape, it might not deploy correctly during a critical situation. Only after passing all these tests with flying colors does the airbag get the ultimate stamp of approval, the green light for installation. That's all from us. Drive safe and stay tuned for more content like this. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.